Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before we begin please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Jojo Fletcher reacts to Joan Vassos as Golden Bachelorette. Season 12 Bachelorette Jojo Fletcher shares her reaction to Joan Vassos as the first Golden Bachelorette. Plus, how did she feel about Jerry Turner's divorce? Keep reading to find out Jojo's thoughts on all things Bachelor Nation. Jerry Turner and Teresa Nist's divorce was devastating. Count Jojo Fletcher among the people taken aback by Jerry Turner and Teresa Nist's quickie marriage. The Golden Bachelor couple announced they were divorcing in April, just three months after tying the knot in a televised ceremony. Bachelor Nation fans blasted the couple for giving up too easily. The senior couple said they made the decision after neither of them was willing to move so they could live together. Some of Teresa's Golden Bachelor co-stars put the blame on her despite being close friends. It's been eight years since Jojo Fletcher was on TV as The Bachelorette. However, she still keeps up with the show. She gushed over Jerry Turner's season back when it was airing in 2023. I'm sad about it. It kind of took me off my, like, high of it. I was really all in, she told us weekly recently about Golden Bachelor's divorce. Jojo Fletcher added that she was a bit devastated by the news. But it won't stop her from watching the upcoming Golden Bachelorette season. What does she think of Joan Vassos? Joan Vassos has a fan in former Bachelorette Jojo Fletcher. After months of speculation, ABC finally announced in May who would be the first Golden Bachelorette. To the surprise of many fans, the network went with Joan Vassos over Faith Martin or Leslie Fema, who were in the Golden Bachelor Final Three with Teresa Nist. In fact, Joan didn't get very far at all. She self-eliminated early on in the season after a family emergency. ABC decided to give her a second chance at finding love in her golden years as the first-ever Golden Bachelorette. Joan Vassos can count Jojo Fletcher as one of her biggest fans. She told us weekly that Joan was one of her favorites when she was watching The Golden Bachelor. I was sad that her, when, her journey got cut short. But I totally understood the reason, Jojo said of Joan's early exit. She added that the senior spin-off of The Bachelor is really exciting. Jojo Fletcher agreed with other fans who said the show is refreshing. It made me feel super happy all the time versus, you know, an emotional roller coaster when you usually watch that show. When Jojo Fletcher heard the announcement that Joan Vassos would be the first ever Golden Bachelorette, she couldn't help but beam with pride. As a former Bachelorette herself, Jojo had long admired how the show celebrated the pursuit of love, but seeing a woman like Joan, a confident, seasoned individual stepping into the spotlight, left her inspired. Sitting in her chic living room with a glass of rosé, Jojo logged onto Instagram to share her thoughts with fans. Guys, can we talk about Joan for a second? She said with a radiant smile. She's incredible. I'm so excited for her journey and what she represents for women everywhere. Love truly doesn't have an age limit. Jojo wasn't just saying this to appease Bachelor Nation. For years, she'd advocated for more inclusive and diverse representations of love stories on the franchise. Joan, with her silver-streaked hair, grace, and unapologetic zest for life, was everything Jojo had hoped for in a groundbreaking lead. Jojo a mentor that when she first became the Bachelorette, she was terrified. It's a weird thing to open your heart to love while the cameras are rolling, she said. But I learned so much about myself, and I know Joan will too. Reflecting on her own journey, Jojo felt there was a unique parallel between her season and Joan's. When I was on the show, I had to overcome my fears of vulnerability and heartbreak. Joan, though, has lived a full life already. She's seen it all, marriage, loss, triumph, and now, she's choosing love again. That's so brave. But being brave doesn't mean it's easy. 
Jojo confessed she was curious about how Joan would navigate the inevitable drama. Let's be real, she said with a laugh. There's always that guy who stirs the pot. I just hope Joan doesn't let anyone dim her shine. A symbol of change. For Jojo, Joan's casting was about more than just television ratings. It was a signal that society was finally recognizing the richness of life experiences that women like Joan bring to the table. For so long, we've seen love stories on this show that are focused on people in their twenties or thirties. Jojo pointed out, "It's refreshing to see someone who's not just looking for a fairy tale, but a partnership built on wisdom, mutual respect, and maybe a little bit of spice." Jojo also appreciated the intentionally behind Joan's decision to become the Golden Bachelorette. She's not doing this to prove anything to anyone; she's doing it for herself. Jojo said, and that's what makes her so empowering. She's rewriting the narrative about what it means to date at any age. Gushing about Joan, it was clear Jojo had become a bit of a Joan fan girl. Have you seen her wardrobe? Jojo exclaimed during her Instagram live session. That woman knows how to dress. She's giving us classy, confident, and a little sassy. Everything a bachelorette should be. Jojo also admired Joan's openness about her past. I saw that clip where she talked about her previous relationships and what she learned from them. That takes guts. It's so easy to shy away from those conversations, but Joan owns her story. In fact, Joan's story resonated deeply with Jojo, who had faced her own share of relationship challenges before finding her husband, Jordan Rogers. I love that Joan isn't afraid to show her scars, Jojo said. She's proof that you can carry your past with you, but still step into the future with hope. Predicting the season's highlights, Jojo couldn't resist making a few predictions about Joan's season. First of all, I think Joan's going to have a hard time narrowing down her guys, she said with a laugh. She's so magnetic; they're all going to be head over heels for her. Jojo also anticipated a few standout moments, including what she called the inevitable serenade. There's always one guy who writes a song or poem. Jojo joked, "I hope Joan just smiles politely and then says, 'Bless your heart.' And what about the hometown dates? Oh, I can already picture it." Jojo said, "Joan meeting their kids, grandkids, and maybe even their pets." It's going to be heartwarming and hilarious all at once. A call to action. Jojo ended her Instagram live with a heartfelt message to her followers. Let's all rally behind Joan, she urged. This is such an important moment, not just for the show, but for all of us who believe in love. Let's celebrate her courage and cheer her on every step of the way. But Jojo wasn't content to simply watch from the sidelines. She later revealed that she'd sent Joan a personal message of encouragement.